creating lines of trust to other users in the network. The Ripple value platform enables anyone to issue any currency and trade it freely on the network. In the Ripple network, XRP is a special currency because it is not issued by any user, but it is native to the system and exists in a fixed amount. Con conversely, all other currencies must be issued by a user, thus making that user a counterparty to every transaction made in that currency. And the total amount of those currencies that are issued by users, not XRP, can vary all the time. It could be zero, it could be tens of billions. To issue a currency, however, requires that the recipient trust you to honor the value of that currency. As an analogy to traditional banking, a bank customer must trust that their deposits will be redeemed on demand. In the traditional arrangement, trust from the customer to the bank is often enforced by a legal contract. No such legal contract exists by nature in a Ripple trust line, though external contracts can be signed between recipient and issuer of a currency. Establishing a line of trust to another user is accomplished by submitting a record of type trust to the Ripple D database. To do so, construct a transaction with the Ripple public address of the issuing user, along with the desired currency and an upper limit of how much issued money you can hold in your account. Ripple Lib will sign the trust transaction with your private key and submit it to the Ripple D server for signature verification and network consensus voting before a success message is returned to you over WebSockets. In order to send the first trust line, I'm going to use the same remote object as the last example sending XRP, and I'll use the same account and the same recipient account to trust that account using mine. So what I've done is actually moved the remote object into its own file. Here you can see I require the remote from Ripple Lib, and then I set it up, and then at the very end, uh, I actually export that remote object so that I'll show you why this is important. Um, when I open up a new file, um, for instance, uh, trustline.js, I can say var remote equals require remote.js and then just remote.connect and that will give me my remote object connected. Now, like the past last tutorial, I want to set up my um, a new transaction and I want to configure that transaction instead of being a trust line, instead of being a payment, this time it'll be a trust line, and then I'll submit that transaction to the network. So in order to get that behavior, I'm gonna go ahead and copy over uh, the, the last example that we used. So I'll, I'll copy syndxrp to trustline.js and open it up. Now that we've extracted this nice remote, we can go ahead and say uh, var remote equals will require remote. There we go. Now just remote.connect is all we need. We still want to set our secret and my account, um, but we no longer need this amount object. And we're going to change it instead of two, we're going to have the uh, from address. From is still my address, amount goes away, and then uh, another key, two goes away, and then the limit option is passed in. The limit is uh, an amount object that allows you to specify the number of the currency, the type of the currency, and then the issuer. So in a trust line, you basically set a record saying, I trust this issuer to issue me up to the limit of this currency. And we can specify that with a string by saying something like 10 slash XAG, which represents uh, ounces of silver. And then I'm going to add to that the recipient. All we have to do now is change the transaction type from payment to uh, a trust line. And that is done by changing the transaction call to ripple line set. 
So when I run this program, I should set a trust line for 10 ounces of silver, XAG, uh, from this account here. And I can demonstrate that by running node trust line.js. It will connect to the network and then submit uh, the trust line. Okay, it just happened. Now you can see you now trust this account for 10 XAG. Now what does that mean? Now that I trust that account for 10 ounces of silver, that account can actually send me 10 ounces of silver. And if we look in the client at the advanced section, it shows that I now trust, under the trust tab, I now trust that account for up to 10 ounces of silver. If we go back, we can look at the return JSON just briefly. The message, the transaction was applied to the database and the currency was silver, this is the issuer, and the value, which is the total amount that I trusted for. So they can send me up to 10 ounces or any amount less than that. So in the next video, I will demonstrate how to send from the account that trusts or the, the trusted account to any other account that trusts them. So I'll send my custom currency, XAG, or ounces of silver, to the account in the next video.